Welcome everyone, this is Loki Lord, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the plugin Simply Connect. So on Simply Connect, it's just as simple as it sounds. Connect two servers with each other, but just the chat. No plug, no portals in between, nothing, just the chat. This is mostly, for example, you run a MCPC server or something that is not Bungie connected, and you want to connect them, but there is no way how, beside of Simply Connect, of course. So since Simply Connect this has been much easier, still the documentation for the setup is a bit low. So I will present you how to set up plugin easily and to connect the service flawless. So the first thing you need to do is of course download the plugin, which I already did. But as simple, just download it. Also 1.7 version 1.6 and upwards. Sometimes not all not always, but sometimes. Download it, which I don't need of course. Then install it on your server. Uh, that is another video for it actually. You just install, pl put it into your plugins folder and start your server. And for the test purpose, I already have two servers set up. And they're both running, they're actual servers, they're just on whitelist for the time because we're maintaining them. And the first thing I did between the two servers is set up sim Simply Connect. So as you can see, if I go onto DNS Flowers 1, or no, I go onto DNS Flowers 2. And take up the website for the console. And I will type something in the chat of the very games. If I go to my account, I take a look at the console logs, you can see me logging in and out. And if I type something on, on the other server here, oh. Okay, so as you can see, the chat format is DNSF, DNS flowers for short, dash two means the second server, some space in between to make it, sh to make people see that it's actually two different parts in the chat, my rank, my name, and the message I typed. Also, I, it works with Nicks, for example, if I do Nick, and then five, Janik, and then Okay, Lord. You can see if I type K, it doesn't work. That's because I didn't configure it yet. I have it configured. The only thing I have to do is reload the plugin. And as I run MCPC Plus, or now it's called Caldrum, this is a bit harder. So you can't just as bucket reload to put the server. You gotta restart it. Or you're a bit smarter and use a plugin that reloads plugins and stops them and can also load them while the server's running. So I use Plugman. And then I do reload, simply connect. And it reload the plugin for me. And if I do K, as you can see, it did take my nickname. But as you can see, it also has the double rank in front, so I gotta fix that later. So, how to set that up? As you can see, if I do refresh here, this is on the other server. This is what everyone else sees on the other server. Pretty nice, huh? So how to set it up? Well, it's, it's simply easy, yet hard. For setting all this up, you first gotta download it, plugin, install it on both servers, restart both servers once, even if you have Plugman, for example, you gotta restart them so the sockets connect for the first time. On the first server, this will be your main server, if it is, you open a config file, and you will find something like or you will find the host on 127. You will find it like so. You will you will find it like so, and the port will be 25565 if I'm not wrong. However, you got to change that to the IP of your host, the host this file the plugin is on. So for me, for example, it will be inside the what it's called the server.properties file and if you open open that in Notepad plus plus you can see the IP of the host. So for example if my IP which I cannot give away would be 192 168 0 127 since it's the first server. Let's say this is the IP 
and your host has to make sure you've got some open ports. For example, the best port you can use is 25575 as it's the query port. No, not the query, but the Archon port. And the Archon port is usually always open. So you can just use the re remote console port for this. And on the other server, you gotta use another port. Very important. You cannot use the same port. I have tried and it failed many, many times. Just changing the port fixed it all. So on the first server, I, I assign 25575, the, re the remote console port and the IP. And you set main, is main to true. Right? So this is the main server where it's hosted on. Then you cannot, you can remove if you want to the join messages. It doesn't have to be there. You can disable and enable them. You can modify them. You don't need, of course. I leave it as, as it is because I just want to. And here is the pl problematic part. So on the servers part, you just don't have to enter the IP of the other server this one is connecting to. For example, if I remove the IP from this server, it would say servers 192.168.128.255.76, which is the IP of server 2. If you look in the other config, you can see this is the IP of the other server. Just going to change the port to 255.76. For example, this is the IP of the other server. Oops. But if you only have the IP of the other server, your server won't 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 see his own chat. So you will kind of cross the chat, but you won't be able to see your see what you type. So you gotta add the IP from the own host. So you gotta IP, add the IP that's up here. Dash the IP. Yeah. Dash. Then copy the IP that's up here or that you entered. Doesn't matter. And then you gotta add a dash, and then you gotta take the port and copy it behind the line, behind the dash. And then it's actually all configured because now the server can see its own chat and the chat of the other server. That's pretty smart. So, and then at the end, you gotta configure the, don't have to, but you can configure the chat format. Um, I use a ch essential chat, I know it's also compatible with permissions x it's groups as far as i know and prefixes so it works with group manager and permissions x i don't know about b permissions and all the other plugins because i prefer group manager and before i did prefer permissions x however you can modify it to your like for example if you want to indicate the chat is on the one server as this is the main server you want to indicate all those, by the way, are color codes, so if I remove them, it would look like this. As you can see, I removed the color codes from the chat, and now it's just clean. However, as it looked like, it was a 6, so this one here was colored in gold. This DNS was colored in green. In this was, the F was colored in purple. The dash in and a binding dash in white and the number in red and this part was colored in gray however that doesn't matter you can just add the color codes yourself with the holding shift and pressing number six and then just a color code like two which is green and then five which is purple or here six gold and then here eight which is dark gray however that doesn't matter for the time for the time we want to configure how people see themselves and others there. So as you can see it says name, that's the real name, that's not a nickname. That means if you type name it will only be the white name. If you add for example instead of display, I add name here, they will see their name. However they, if they have a colored name they won't see their colored name, they will only see it in, it in white. Or if they have a nickname, for example, they will only see their original name. However, if you add display, which is the name configured by, for example, Essentials Chat, it will add the display name, that is the nickname or the colored name. And then we also got the group, if you want to indicate what group the player is in, instead of the prefix. If you want to make it like, since I'm co-owner, 
it will say for me code dash owner. And but as I want to to short it down in game, I would make the prefix C or in the com group manager file C dash O C O dash O, yes, code dot O stash owner. And I would add the prefix. Now what it would do, it will re read the prefix from the group manager file and the prefix you added to your own rank. It will automatically recognize what rank you're in and add the prefix to the chat. Now that's pretty neat. Also you can add the suffix if you want to. I don't use suffixes because they just take up more space. And you can add the server, which usually if this file is in stock mode, because I modified this file, the file it would say in front of here, it would say server. And then it would say the server name that is configured in the server.properties file. However, if you don't want that, if you want to use your own custom name, you gotta configure or switch the config file for each server independently. For since this is the first server, I would what I would do is add this one so it indicates that it's the first server. And I will set of course, yeah, this is the true, just so you remember. And on this server, as you can see, there's a two here. That indicates that it's the second server. Or yes. So that indicates as there's a two here, it indicates the second server. Now as you can see, this server can see its own chat but not on the other server's chat. So what we do is we copy the IP from the other server to this one. So they cross. You gotta you just have to copy this part and it has to exist on both servers. As you can see, and on the second server, the port has to differ. Remember that it has to differ. Uh try to find an open port 25576 usually also works. And also set, remember to set is main on false. Else both servers will be main and they won't know which one is the host anymore. So it will be a problem. Also, remember to change the chat format. With, for example, indicate that it's the other server, not that it looks like the same chat. And also remember to, if you want to separate your messages, for example, add a space in between color codes. And at the end, if you make make it all like that, it will look like something like this. We go into the second server and take a look. As you can see, I got a double rank issue. Um, I will simply fix that by uploading the file back again. Also, remember that if you run the server um, and the server is running in the time while you fix this, you should either use Plugman or you can try to turn on and off Sim SC, simply connect off on no, SC SA, I think the command is and it is SC chat. There we have it. SC chat off. And that turns off the chat, which means, means only the server that is configured can see its chat. However, if you turn it back on, the chat will be shared across the devices or across the servers. So that's basically it with setting up the servers. And if you got any more questions, you can just ask them in the description. If the video wasn't informative enough, just yeah, again, ask just ask in the comment section or look through the description for more information. And I guess that was simply it for configuring the config chat var variables and uh, setting up the simply connect plugin and how to connect the two servers without them ending up in a catastrophe. So, yep, yeah, that's simply it, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.